Hi guys, welcome to ALB, the place to pray. And I'm here with my second chart of the day for 11th of February 2020. Uh, so I chose Aussie uh, dollar, the Aus Australian dollar against the US dollar. So Australian dollar has been trading against the US dollar has been trading pretty weak uh, for the past uh, few months or so. As you can see, this is on the daily time frame, uh, and uh, the, the coronavirus uh, effect in China is affecting uh, the Australian dollar as well because uh, Australia is very uh, much dependent on, on, on Chinese economy. Uh, so, any slight uh, uh, problem in Chinese economy, Australian dollar is affected big time. Uh, so, at the moment, it's testing this, uh, it's just bounced back from this lows, the support at 66. 75 here which are the lows back in august of last year and october of last year this is kind of the third test that we have seen in february uh, but the coronavirus uh, problem is still uh, far from being over and uh, that toll now rose above thousand today uh, so though the market is is uh, not uh, uh, like completely ignoring uh, the coronavirus effect but uh, it is not fearing as much as uh, as it was uh, in the uh, starting days uh, so we are seeing this uh, uh, surge in equities uh, one day and next day slips a bit but uh, overall uh, the market seems that it's not that much threatened uh, but looking at the Australian dollar chart uh, I still have a pretty much bearish uh, outlook on Australian uh, dollar because as you can uh, see uh, these candles the bearish candles uh, you can see how much there is the selling pressure on the Aussie dollar at the moment and I wouldn't be really though it is a very strong support uh, because if you just zoom out a bit you would see the next uh, proper uh, support that we have is back of the lows in 2009 uh, which is kind of here about 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 the uh, this area here so do i see around australian dollar to fall uh, at 60 spot 62 50 uh, at the moment no to be honest uh, but i am um, I won't be really comfortable. I, for a long, for me, I would see. I want to see the price to break above this trend line that I have here, and also this support or the resistance at 67.50, and then I would go for a long targeting uh, this area. At the moment, I would still have my bearish bias. Uh, probably, I would be looking for a short round about here. Stop just because it's a very tight stop, as you can see. It will be like 20, 25 pips stop. Uh, but again, uh, I would be targeting like kind of 45 to 50 pips uh, and uh, if this breaks I think it's gonna uh, be very aggressive uh, downward move because it didn't break for a long time this level as you can see it really didn't the last time uh, we saw Australian dollar this low was back uh, 10 years back uh, or exactly 10 years back it was February of 20, 2009 uh, 11 years back and it's February of 2020 so uh, this was a very important area that's why I thought let's uh, do this as my second chart uh, so data wise we would be having New Zealand central bank rate decision tomorrow uh, so as you know New Zealand dollar and Aussie dollar kind of moves in a in kind of a really close tandem so uh, that would be uh, an important data regarding Aussie dollar and also we have Australian uh, 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 central bank governor low speaking on Thursday uh, which might deter the price of, of Australian dollar going forward. Uh, so yeah, so this is my view on Australian dollar. Uh, this is the area that I'm looking at, of course, is a 66.75 here. Uh, this uh, spot 67.50 round about here. Then uh, this resistance or support at six spot 68.50 are the recent like the near term price points I'm looking at. Uh, so that would be it from me for uh, this uh, chart. Uh, thank you very much for joining me at ALB. Wish you all the best. Please bear in mind these are my personal views. So please do carry on your own fundamental and technical analysis before you take a trade on any of the charts that I suggest. Thank you again. Bye-bye.